Okay, some new builds of Ubuntu 2110 have come out and uh, I've been playing around with it the last few days. You might have seen it in one of my other videos. It's very impressive. So I'm overclocked to 2350 and uh, I'm using it fanless at the moment so it's completely silent, but I'll switch into screen capture and show you that. So this is fast because it's running from an M.2 drive in my Argon 1 case. I've got other videos on that. Um, but let's have a look at terminal, so Control alt t and uh, I'll just show you my config.txt settings. Uh, so you can see here, it's a little bit different on Ubuntu sudo nano boot firmware config.txt. Put my password in. And the lines I've added are from here, ARM frequency 2350, GPU frequency equals 850, over voltage equals 15, force turbo equals one, and boot delay equals one. And their settings, if you want to know more about those settings, they're from Pi News 31, uh, and they do work very well on my Pi obviously overclock at your own risk. So I'd seen this come up on my feed from OMG Ubuntu uh, and they've shown Ubuntu 2110 with GNOME 40. This is obviously the Raspberry Pi version uh, and I guess they're using the x64 version. If I use NeoFetch, uh, you see what it reports. So Ubuntu Impish Indri, this is the new name and if you wanna know what an Indri looks like. Okay, so it's crashed. So maybe I need to lower my overclock settings a little bit. Okay, so I'm back in. I've changed the config text. Uh, I did it on my Mac so that, uh, because I couldn't get it to boot after that, it, it was stuck on boot. But it was a rather ambitious overclock, uh, especially for a, an operating system that's in testing. So I've gone a bit more conservative now. I've gone for uh, 2147, which has worked for me great on the Pi for ages with an over voltage of eight. So I'm gonna leave it at that. So this is what an injury looks like. Uh, the Ubuntu's are often named after animals. Uh, so if I just go forward and show you, there's a wallpaper competition, and uh, if I click on this, I think this launches it. Yeah, wallpaper competition for impish injury. And I quite like some of these, but um, they were quite low res, so uh, that's why I'm not using one at the moment. So let's do right click, change background. I really like Ubuntu and uh, the various versions of it in the way that they're so well laid out, so crisp, so... Uh, clean, very, very easy to understand. It's always a very professional looking operating system. And I found this, even at stock clock, was running really nice and fast. So I put this wallpaper in because I quite like this wallpaper. I've used it ages ago uh, on the Pi. It's, uh, it's an Argentina, I think. But I'm gonna go back to uh, this one for now. See the way it even transitions between the two? So it kind of fades between the different wallpapers. Just looks really nice when it's doing it. Uh, so if we go through here, I find on the keyboard it's always more snappy when you do this. So you can see the Wi-Fi mode, uh, network, Bluetooth settings. You can see it's picked up my Bose speaker. It's, I haven't tried to connect it to it, but I'm sure it works fine. It usually does. Background, appearance. You see we have various different modes here. So if we try, let's have a look at dark mode, light mode, and standard. I quite like the standard one. So notifications, much like mobile operating systems where it's very easy to turn all these on and off. Uh, search, applications. Yeah, just really, really nice and, and really does seem to work nice and fast. So displays, if I was to use multiple displays, mouse and touchpad. I've got a bit of a weird issue with this. You can see I've added uh, an extra keyboard. My Logitech mouse keyboard wasn't working on the keyboard in Firefox and a few other things. If I press the Windows key and uh, tap in here, I would type and it wouldn't work. If I plug in, I've got a mini keyboard and I plug in the dongle for that, so I've got two keyboards in, my Logitech springs to life. Um, so it's a bit of a strange one. It's not something I've had before. Again, these are early builds. It's not the final release uh, and things may change and things will obviously get better and, and more support. Uh, printers, it picked up my printer gives me really nice icons and uh, with wireless printing, I've been printing with Ubuntu for a long time and it's absolutely fine. Removable media, I haven't got anything in there at the moment, but you can see that you can give it various different commands when you put in certain media. And we've got color controls for the monitor, just loads and loads of stuff in here. It, it, is, it is really, really nice. Now, if I go into about, you can see, uh, so memory seven, so I'm using my eight gig Pi. Uh, Ubuntu Impish Injury Development Branch, 64-bit OS, running GNOME 40.2.0. Although in OMG Ubuntu's video, yeah, in this video from OMG Ubuntu, and I can't 
I won't play it, but I'll I'll pause it on the bit that I want to show after I've watched the advert. So yeah, it was. Yeah, couldn't seem to replicate this screen. Uh, so you can see where the desktops are at the top and all of the apps are there. And I don't know if that's because I'm using it on a Raspberry Pi and maybe it's a different development build for the Pi. Maybe it's a little bit behind. Um, but if I press the Windows key, you can see I've got my open apps. And if I wanted to drag one over to a different window, so say I wanted to drag it over to this window, I can. And uh, so all of that is working in a similar way but it's coming up in a different place. And I guess that's possibly because, as I say, this is a slightly older build because it's a version that has to be adapted for the Pi. But also, if I go back into Terminal, so you can see in NeoFetch, it's reporting a different version of GNOME. So here we have GNOME version 40.2.0, and here we have GNOME 3.38.4. But again, it could be because it's a development build. So let's check out the web browser. Uh, so Hot UK Deals. And I found that it loads up pretty well. Uh, loads up pretty quickly and uh, the page is filled in pretty decently. Uh, so if we go for uh, CEX and let's do a search for Raspberry Pi. And it feels reasonably snappy and again the scrolling is nice and smooth. So if I open up things from the taskbar here, so Firefox, Files, Rhythmbox, LibreOffice Writer and the apps. Uh, and then let it load for a little bit and then press the Windows key. You can see that it very nicely shows everything. It's very easy to switch between active apps. If I go over to the right, you can see the desktops here and I could drag something onto a different desktop if I wanted to. Uh, but also it's very easy to close things down, very easy to see what they are and very easy to go back in. Uh, but it is, I did think it looked better in the OMG Ubuntu video. So I look forward to that coming in the future unless it's something that's available now and I haven't seen it in the settings. So if you want to get a hold of this, uh, it's this page and I'll put a link in the description and you can see here Ubuntu 21.10 Impish Injury Daily Build uh, and down here pre-installed desktop image Raspberry Pi 4 generic 64-bit for Pi 2, 3 and 4. 64-bit um, builds generally need more uh, more RAM so I don't think it's going to work too well on a Pi 2 or a Pi 3 but uh, obviously you can try it and you just download that and then write it with Raspberry Pi Imager. So very, very easy to install. I didn't have to do anything extra and it just came up looking great and working great. I do like all the folders in Ubuntu, but it looks like they've changed again uh, in a later version. But uh, yeah, looking very promising. It's, a, it's an operating system I really like to use. I really like the file management on it. It seems to work with my network drive very well, the printer, everything just comes all set up really nicely. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.